Aloha Friday again. Uh, this is Karambi Davis of Karambi Realty International. And today we're going to be talking about the luxury statistics from last month. And what will be interesting is we'll not only compare it to last year, but we'll also compare to 2019. Because as we know, the um, pandemic happened, you know, a few months earlier than April last year. So the numbers were down, but let's see how it fared up to a year before the pandemic. But before we go there, of course, big day Sunday for all the mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day. Um, and you know what is Mother's Day? And I saw this really beautiful quote this week, and this is how it went. It said, Mother's Day is all about celebrating the woman who raised you and shaped you who you are as a person. From all the packaged lunches with napkin notes to the bandages and kisses after falling off your bike, to being the first one to cry um, at your graduation, your, your mum was there for all. And I know being a mother and many mums out there, you can relate to one of those items I just talked about, or all of them. <laughs> anyway, um, let's talk about the luxury market today. Um, the April, um, the number of solds, um, and we, Put the luxury market is 1.8 million and above. There's, there was 44, uh, 44 uh, versus 12 sales in 2020. So there was 44 closed sales last month, and in 2019 there was nine. So for 2020 we had over a 250 percent increase, and 2019 we even had a bigger increase in prices. Um, the median price um, last month was 2.5 million compared to to a little over 2 million in 2020 and the median price back in 2019 was 2 million 420 which is showing that we we've come up about 3.3 percent since 2019 days on the market we're averaging about 80 days uh, versus a year ago april was 88 days and even um it was a little slower than 2019. In 2019, it was actually only 54 days, but the listing to sales price ratio is way higher today at 99%. And in 2019, it was 95%. So um, homes are selling very close to asking right now. How about the percentage above asking? I, you know, I saw a very um, important quote there well not quote a fact the other day from a mortgage broker saying that over the US and this is not necessarily the luxury market but a lot of prices are being bid at least 10 to 20 percent above asking right now but as far as the luxury market goes 50 nearly 50 percent of listings are actually going above asking and that's compared to in 2020 there was only about 16 percent going above asking and back in um, 2019 there was about 11% going above asking so we've got a good nearly 57% of luxury homes right now going above asking um, incredible numbers we've never I've been doing this business 32 years and we have not seen those numbers so strong in the luxury market price per square foot we look at that also so the average price per square foot for an average um, for a luxury single family home right now is around 1020 a square foot compared to last year, April was 767 a square foot. And then back in 2019, um, lower than uh, 2021, but higher than 2020, it was $837 a square foot. So we've definitely seen uh, the price per square foot increase tremendously since 2019. Um, how about inventory? What's inventory doing right now? And we've broken it up accordingly uh, from 1.8 million to 3 million. There's 61 homes on the market right now. And between 3 million to 6 million, there's about 59 homes on the market. And between 6 million to 10 million, there's 25 homes on the market. And above 10 million, there's 28 homes. So, you know, this is on Oahu. So our uh, inventory is very, very limited for single family homes in the luxury market still. Uh, let's take a look at condos. Um, the sales volume is up from last year, but down from uh, two years ago. And I believe a lot of that's just due, there was definitely a house uh, movement from condos to houses over the past few years. So April for 2021, the amount of sales was eight sales. Um, and back in 2019, when the market was also stronger than pandemic, there was 11 sales. So there was actually more sales in 2019, but we are seeing that gradually increase and definitely the median price is higher today 
at 2,445 than it was back in 2019, which was 2.3 million. So since 2019, we've seen a uh, over 6% increase in price um, for the condos. With the pandemic though, the condos really got hit hard in the beginning of last year. And there was actually a decrease in price still of 2% um, from 2020 to now, but I believe we'll see those numbers gradually really go up quite fast as I am seeing condos sell for uh, some new record breaking prices right now. Uh, days on market, uh, days are averaging 126 days on the market, which is uh, 19 days faster than last April 2020 and a little slower than 2019. So we'll see those numbers change over a course of, of this year, definitely. Uh, listing to sales ratio, um, is around about 94% for, um, for last month. And back in um, 2020, it was about 95%. So we will, again, as I mentioned, um, the condo market is getting some speed. If you're thinking of a luxury condo, I would buy now and not wait um, because these prices are definitely waiting um, to make some big gains. Um, Price per square foot is about 1,700 a square foot for a luxury condo right now. And uh, back in 2019, it was 1586 a square foot. So you're seeing the condo markets really taking off. Active buy price ranges, um, again, between 1.8 to 3 million, there's 61 properties. And between 3 to 6 million, 53 condos. And between 6 and 10 million, 7 on the market. And above 10 million, only 4. And I know with our um, luxury properties we've shared with you over the year, you know, there's been quite a few sales in that uh, 10 million range. And there's only 4 on the market. So that's what's keeping the pressure on the prices there. So let's look at what were the top sales last month. So I will share my screen with you. Um, we can, the home, of course, a beautiful luxury home on Kailua Beach. And uh, this was a five bedroom, five bath home that sold for $9 million from a, and a doctor from California bought this home. And some of the features that it um, pointed out was a 12 person hot tub and 146 bottle wine fridge. Um, so, you know, again, we're seeing oceanfront, uh, golf course be um, in the top five um, higher sales right now on Oahu. And uh, as far as condo, let me share with you the condo. Beautiful at the Ritz Carlton. Uh, this is a two story unit, three bedroom, five bathrooms, 3,500 square feet of living area. And this sold for a little under 6.5 million. Great alternative to a single family home and stunning views there at the um, high floors there at the Ritz Carlton. And the Lanai was over 2000 square feet, a private pool and hot tub and outdoor kitchen. So I look at that and I thought, wow, what a good buy that is for everything that includes. Um, congratulations to um, the agents who sold these beautiful properties. And going to Marianne's photos, we always enjoy her photos of course, and the, um, the theme this week is recipe for a happy Mother's Day. So she's got happy flowers, she says on this photo. And then of course, peace and tranquility. Hopefully you will sit, relax and let the family wait on you for a change out there. And the um, family, you know, here's an albatross, mother and baby, and family so important in our lives and uh, especially in the nature too, as you can see and more flowers, water lily, um, absolutely stunning, the colours. And of course, that sunset bliss that we um, look forward to at the end of our day. Um, and again, happy Mother's Day, everybody. It's such a special day and enjoy your family and may they really treat you to a lot of wonderful things and spoil you rotten, as they say. Much mahalo. Until next week, mahalo. <laughs>